Hello everyone, today I'm going to be checking out the update preview for Disney's Magic Kingdoms game update 72. Hopefully everybody enjoys the video today. If you guys do, don't forget to give it a big Mickey thumbs up for me. Of course, subscribe if you guys are new and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So let's go ahead and watch the event walkthrough together. Welcome, to the update 72 event oh, look at the chests. So pretty. And hang on a second. Is this chest right here? Is that like different? It looks different. Okay, sorry, that's a little bit early to be pausing, but <laughs> it just looks different. Update, it is. Season five of Disney Magic Kingdoms. Maybe we're getting a chest. It's been forever since we last got to go over some for magical Ever. content Clever. together. And I know you all must be up the wall with excitement, <laughs> so without any further delay and any more terrible puns, let's get straight into all the new content you can look forward to in Update 72, Wally. -E. Yay! First one up, we have the Captain of the Axiom, navigating his way across space to make the kingdom his next landing spot. With a look of ambition in his eyes, it looks like he's got a mission he's set on completing while he's here. I'm actually really Next excited up, about the captain this coming. This character puts the MO, and Mo. In mob, and will have your kingdom looking squeaky clean in no time. If you haven't already guessed it yet, no. Mo will be rolling into the kingdom this update, and he's bringing his expert cleaning skills with him. I think New we're gonna need it. Characters aren't the only thing you can look forward to being added to Wally's <laughs> Kingdom Quest because we also have an out of this world attraction you can add to your park. The Axiom. All aboard the Axiom Attraction Kingdomers. Take we're a going break to from space. your earthly obligations and step aboard this breathtaking spacecraft for an out of this world leisurely It looks pretty experience. big, actually. Don't hmm. get too comfortable, though, or coming back down to Earth may be a bit of a challenge. Oh, boy. That's all the Wally permanent big content challenge. you can look forward to getting in Update 72, but we've got even more goodies up for grabs in the new Season 5 Pass. Okay, so new Season 5 Pass. So this stuff here that they've talked about so far, so that's permanent content so that means my guess is the concession stands uh the eve decoration there um those ones are going to be in the season pass i guess is the what the fifth one now so uh that's what i'm gonna guess that they're gonna keep with wally in there but the characters will be permanent content uh still nothing at least so far to find out like what's happening with wally being free now uh, if we get those gems back so i'm assuming what's going to happen is is that will be the case and then like mo or something like that will become the premium um so it's just it'll be interesting maybe it'll be the captain this update hmm. feeling thirsty on your stroll through the kingdom no problem yep <laughs> make a stop at the cherry nutrient shake stand you're all in one stop for all your nutrient needs while yeah. packing a ton of cherry flavory goodness cute I like However, it. if your cherry nutrient shake isn't hitting the spot for you that day, then you can always count on the donut and the cup concession stand to provide you with a flavor experience <laughs> that will make your taste buds dance. When was the last time you guys Plus, saw Wally? Put it in the comments. Be better than having a donut and a tasty drink all in one. Oh, I so good. I guess plants that grow pizza on them would be pretty cool too. Okay, they would be very cool. That is directly from the movie. The captain actually thought that he would be able to grow pizza. Yeah, you, you you can't, but yeah, it would be great. So that that's true. where that comes from. Yeah, Clever. That actually be a from dream the movie. come true. But anyway, it would be a dream come true. I do it take too long. A new decoration for maybe your not a dream. To really get into that Wally spirit with you maybe really not. cannot go wrong with the Super Wally esque tire planter decoration featuring the iconic plant sample. And not only do we have this iconic tire planter decoration for you, but we also have this adorable Eve sculpture decoration Eve sculpture. available to put on display for all your park visitors. Wally built that for that Eve. That may be all the Wally goodies Aww. we have for you in the season pass, but we've got many it's so more big. wonders plunders for you to unlock. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh my gosh, is that... Is that Marion? Like... Wait, is that Indiana Jones Marion? No, that pass, can't, can't be right we've about got this. Many more wonders Oh my gosh. Thunder. It is. It's Marion. For you to unlock the uh, That's in that right here. This is Indiana Jones. This oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Indiana Jones's hat. Roads. There's the attraction. She's and there's decoration. No way. And hence the boulder that rolled right through. Right? You know, they had that, uh, where was that? It was right before they, they did the, it was a transition. Um, it was right after they showed this. So, like, a minute 30? It was before that. Yeah. Anyways, it was right in about here. So, like, a minute 20, a minute 40, I think it was. And the boulder rolled through. I should have known. I was like, what the heck is that about? should have known that was Indiana Jones right Survive. away. 
Now oh, wait a second. Was that a cost? Sorry, Many sorry, more everyone. Wondrous blunders for you to <laughs> throughout season five. Yep, and that's her costume. What? Oh my god, that's seriously cool. It's about time we got Indiana Jones. This makes me very, very happy. Now that we've gone over all the new content coming to the kingdom, let's okay, I'll buy the season pass. <laughs> you got me convinced. Coming up. But before we do that, we've got something outlandish. How does everybody feel all. about Indiana Ask Jones? Shall receive, oh gosh. Yeah, well, I just want to point out, Ask and You Shall Receive. It's been like, what, three years? <laughs> of course we want land when we all have too many objects and we can't fit them in. This is what happens. We want more space to put our stuff, especially when we have to pay for it. Um, they, I think they're making it like we're, we're, like, see how they're putting things like no land again. Hey, guess what? We really wanted land. Stop the new content back to back and give us more land. I, I feel like he took a lot of the. <laughs> I feel like it's just more negative stuff from us. More like here's your slap. And now you get it instead of making it a positive thing. Ask and you shall receive. That's fine. But this was a bit of a. <laughs> These comments here. It's very subtle. But that's a. Yeah, that's not very nice. But to be fair, we have been waiting a long, long, long time. It's ridiculous. And I'm very happy about the land. Just maybe not this little More land hidden, hidden jab. <laughs> Two new plots of land will be unlocked the Everest Expedition They area. poked us back, right. guys. In order to unlock these new areas, you must be fully caught up with the story and have all adjacent plots unlocked first. We really hope you all enjoy the new land this update and finally get to dust off some of your old attractions, concessions, and decorations okay. you may have had stocked up in your storage. So that's going to be the area where after we battle Mother Gothel, um, there's a whole section of land there that you can only get like one slot. So the other three that are behind it will uh, will be available. So that's good for us. Um but I think uh, I think some people are going to really have to grind out the storyline if they aren't fully caught up. Um, yeah, and I guess that I don't think that includes me. I think I'm good. I think I have everybody and I think everybody should be an OK level. I'll double, triple, quadruple check. But um, yeah, I think I should be fine. But yeah, so there's going to be there's going to be a good chunk of land in there to decorate. There's still going to be like, what, three slots of land, I think it is that like left. So hopefully we don't have to wait another three years for that. It is that time once again. Whoa, Let's get straight that's a different the animation. And see what you can all expect to see here. The start Let's of the start game. The basics out of the way first. The tower event will start on July 13th and will be three chapters long. Chapter one will start on July 13th. Chapter two will start on July 18th. Chapter three will start on July 23rd and the event will end on July 28th. Okay, this so event, this Thursday. The rewards you can look forward to seeing in the shop will be featuring many different collections, including Disney's 101 Dalmatians, Disney's Frozen, and Disney and Pixar's Onward. Let's go over what a tower event is and how you can successfully clear all of the content. Your main goal in a tower event is to send a curated team of characters out to challenge the tower in tower challenges. For sending out teams to challenge the tower, you'll get points that contribute to your total chapter milestone goal and you'll also be awarded tower event currency to spend at the shop. Your points and tower event currency total will all depend on the team you put together. You can maximize the amount of points and currency you get if your team consists of a featured character as well as characters from the favored collections. So the nothing's really changed at least for this, everything is still the same. It's also important wow, to level that one. You get extra points for that will not do so well. Depending on how many of the favored collection characters you own. You'll also get a boost to your points if you take on the tower challenge with a full team. The featured character will change from chapter to chapter. In this event, for chapter one, the featured character is Figaro from Disney's Pinocchio. <laughs> for chapter two, so the featured character is Charlotte LaBeouf from Disney's The Princess She the needs a costume in the three, DMK. The featured character is 150% her princess dress. Unlike the featured character, your favorite collections will change with every tower challenge run. As an example, if you send out a team that uses characters from the Toy Story favorite collection, on your next run, the favorite collection will change, giving those Toy Story characters some time to rest. 
Now, although these characters will be resting after their tower challenges, you can get them right back into the tower by giving them refresh tokens. There are many different ways you can get your hands on these refresh tokens, and one of these ways is with explorations. Explorations are separate activities that you can send your characters on to explore the tower. You can yep, see they're going to be long again. Characters are currently on, <laughs> I think we were asking for them to be a little lower. Running at a time. But if you happen to have the Kingdom Pass, however, you'll be able to have up to three running at the same time. Now, if you've got luck on your side, mm. your explorations may even grant you a bonus chest upon completion. On the other hand, however, sometimes explorations trigger traps which spawn a number of tier 2 tappers in your park. Those when you land on a trap, you must clear suck. these tier 2 tappers before you begin any new explorations. So Wait, you're what? Clear these troublemakers what is as that? Soon as possible. What? Now, what? Did you reminder, see that kid walking with that big giant rock? That are already in progress, <gasps> and it doesn't affect any of your other tower challenge related activities, such as attraction refreshes or sending teams to challenge the tower. If you happen to have another exploration running, then it also will not affect the timer for that activity. Timers will still count down as normal, and you'll be able to collect it once it's finished. And don't worry, traps aren't all bad news. You'll still get some event currency from them, which you can use inside the tower shop. When you complete a whole row pricey. or column of explorations, you'll be able to claim the final refresh token reward at the end. Happy exploring, Kingdomers! <laughs> the next way that yeah. you can get extra refresh tokens is through attraction <laughs> refreshes. Here, yeah. you can select an attraction to generate a refresh token automatically. Once an attraction is selected, the countdown timer will start. The higher the enchantment level of the attraction, the higher the chance a refresh token will be generated. So make sure to choose your attractions carefully and strategically. And you have to remember some of them you, can you cannot enchant, so more they are kind of doomed. An additional attraction slot by owning the Kingdom Pass. If you ever want to change the attraction you have in a certain slot, you're free to swap them out. Keep in mind, however, that when you swap attractions, it will reset the countdown timer. If you choose to skip the timer, either with gems or a time skip token, you'll receive a pop-up that will let you know whether or not you received a refresh token as a result. If you want to keep track of how well you're doing in the event, whether it's against your fellow Kingdomers or with your overall progress, you can find out in the progress tab, where you can select either leaderboards to see where your rank is, or you can select milestones to see where your milestone progress is at. So, what do you do with all that tower currency you've saved up over the event? <laughs> That, my friends, is where the tower shop comes oh, into play. Oh yeah, and You'll it's You'll be able to pricey. obtain characters from multiple different collections, including Disney's 101 Dalmatians, Disney's Frozen, and Disney oh, and Pixar's Oh good, Onward. they have the 50th anniversary characters stuff in there too. Characters will be available in the magical chest from the tower shop. You'll also oh, be Mickey's able to costumes obtain back. I guess I got last time. The shop, as well as obtain legendary characters from Sapphire Chest. We also want to give you Kingdomers an extra heads up because this will be your last chance to get your hands on the Walt Disney World's 50th Anniversary Hat Stand and the Walt Disney World's 50th Anniversary Cake in the Tower Shop. It will also be your last chance to get Mickey's Walt Disney World's 50th Anniversary Costume in the Bonus Shop, so oh, make geez. sure to save up your Maleficent Coins if you still need to add any of these to your collection. If you ever Why need a that? small reminder of what the Tower event is about, you like can ever? find a small summary of it all in the Help tab. If you run into any technical problems during the event, you can also click on the green customer care button at the top and we'll have someone help you out as soon as possible. That's a wrap for this Update 72 event walkthrough. Which part of the update are you looking forward to most, Kingdomers? Let us know in the comments down below. Download the update on July 11th and prepare Oh, there for the we go. <laughs> Tower event on the 13th. Okay, I was like, so where did they... Maybe I missed it, but um, I did not see anywhere where it said download the update on Tuesday, July 11th. Again, maybe I missed it, but it <laughs> usually catch them when they say them. July 13th, though, I saw for the Tower event. So they really made us wait right to the end to get that. Now, there was uh, some sneak preview stuff. I'm going to see if they added it here at the end uh, for the Aristocats. I don't know if they're going to show anything. No, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Okay, so Aristocats is going to be coming um, in the next, I don't <laughs> should I say next update? But there's a post about it. Um, so I'm pretty excited about seeing some of those characters come aristocats obviously i love cats cats are super cute and that movie is adorable so i think uh i know i know it's been one that i've talked about like as one that would be really fun 
to come to the kingdom. So I'm really happy to see that it's actually going to be coming um, in upcoming updates. So hopefully everybody enjoyed the video today. Again, if you haven't given it a thumbs up yet, make sure you guys do. Let me know what you think of this update, especially the land, because you know that is probably some people's number one right now is just focusing on getting that, saving magic, or maybe not. Maybe you just have like millions and millions and millions hanging around. Um, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of decorating. And I mean, we're getting more stuff. So yeah, we're still not going to have room for everything. But I think it's it's a positive step in the right direction. So hopefully everybody has a magical day. And I will do a video for the update and the season pass, of course, when it becomes available to me. Have a magical night and I'll see you next time. Bye.